right, Micah here with Weatherby. We got Mac behind the camera, and we are headed on a spring bear hunt. We're playing trains and automobiling up to Idaho, driving through Montana, and gonna hop on a plane and go to a super secret spot in Idaho, um, chase some big bear with uh, 300 Weatherby. We're excited about it, and hopefully the weather cooperates. But uh, stay tuned. It's April, and Micah and I have hit the road to hunt spring black bears in the Idaho backcountry. We tried to time our hunt in hopes that enough bears will be out moving and feeding, but not too late that they're hiding in the woods to get out of the heat. It's an eight hour drive, so we settled in for the long haul. tight back in here but we made it uh, we're excited we're just gonna get ready to roll and get on the trail um, to our first spot where we want to try and we kind of pre-scouted it looks like a good spot to hopefully glass up some bears safely on the ground and well away from any human population we took to the trail and started the uphill journey to our campground the going was slow and steep and as we climbed higher, we kept our eyes open for bears and other critters. A ton of game in here. Fish falling this game trail. I need to keep keep the eyes peeled for some uh, sheds. Okay, so situation is we're striking out on all the water spots that. I'd put on the map on the way up here. Uh, we got the main creek down down below us, um, and on the way up, there's the ridges coming down, and I thought there would be water, but we are striking out. So we've gone too far now, and the, the plan is to push further and get up to the back, the back edge of this mountain, and hopefully there's some shade and we can find some snow. We're already pretty much eye level with some snow. So we're gonna just pray that there's some snow there and melt that down. Probably uh, take a good long break. We've been taking a few breaks on the way up. Um, I always t say like last year, you know, you feel great after, like this is pretty rough country. So you always feel great afterwards and saying like, oh, I'm gonna stay in shape, you know, and keep, keep that level of fitness up. <laughs> Matt can attest that we are absolutely dying, so. But we're gonna get there, so. We'll check back here in a little bit, hopefully with some, some water and camp set up and be ready to roll. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm Did an you... idiot. Well, I knew that. We didn't have the, <laughs> dude, I'm so delirious. I don't have the filter on. <laughs> we just about drank poop water. Okay, Micah Shurik, ladies and gentlemen, trying to kill us up here on the mountain. Okay, take two. <laughs> I didn't have the filter on the last time. This is... This is brutal getting up here. Uh, a little bit of clean water in here to swish it out. I'm hoping, I don't know. It seemed like it was pretty clean coming through there. But it was nasty loading that snow in here. All right, we've got water. We got water. This is actually Mike and I's first hunt together. 
we, well, no, I came and packed your elk. <laughs> that, you didn't come and pack my elk out. Micah came and helped pack out an elk that Adam and Brenda shot that I also helped pack out while I filmed it. Then you shot an elk, and then oh. I came in and helped pack okay. <laughs> Micah came and helped me pack out an elk, which I was very grateful, but it was about the world's easiest pack out. With four guys and it being a quarter mile of flat land from the truck. I didn't have to say any of that. <laughs> I was very appreciative that I said that. We've been planning this hunt for like a month, two months now. Yeah. Just staring at Onyx. And we were discovering on the way up this hill that it's a lot easier to climb on a computer screen. <laughs> and there's, uh, depending on what maps you're looking at, they have feeder creeks um, or when the snow melts i'm assuming but this basin is dry yeah so. we we were we were struggling for water I, i've got a real bad history of like cramping without water so i had cramps in both my quads for climbing up we had to keep taking breaks I should, so i could stretch I should have took photos of you doing yoga yeah um, <laughs> there's some straight up mountainside yoga um and we still haven't exactly found out where we're gonna camp yet but we at least have some melted snow we have water and, yeah. and we're there. We're to the glassing spot and we have water, so I'm happy. At this point, yeah. we were... It's not as green as we were hoping. Yeah, that is... The snow color. line is pretty high for for where we're at. I mean, the snow line is 5,000 or above. Maybe it's going to start greening up here shortly, and we'll see some bears. I mean, we've seen a ton of, ton of critters. We saw probably half a dozen elk yeah. and more whitetail than we could count surprising amount of whitetail so the goal now is we're gonna get camp set up and find a good spot for it get a little fire going to warm ourselves up boost a little morale and crush absolutely crush some water <laughs> ah, this is like everything that I needed after today <laughs> Hey, morning. We are up and looking for bears, and I'm a little tired. Max snored all night, so. Uh, but we're here. We're at the glassing spot, so hopefully we have a good day ahead of us of looking. Weather's being beautiful, cooperating. Um, we got a couple points. We're gonna kind of look off into a couple directions here. Um, hopefully, turn up some bears. Still haven't seen any bears. Uh, I mean, I don't know how early they're going to be getting out and rolling around, but uh, it, it's looking a little bit greener over here on our bowl that we're, it was kind of our main one we wanted to look into, but still everything's really brown. So right now we're just happy looking at elk and deer. You seen any bears out there? I am seeing so many stump bears, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I am the stump bear champion right now. Actually, no, that title belongs to Micah. Micah's calling out all the stumps on the way up here. <laughs> hey, about, I said it takes a day for me to acclimate. The thing about bear hunting is you see black stumps and you, you hope it's a bear, but like when you actually see a bear, it really stands out. Like you can tell it, you immediately know it's not a stump. But when you're looking a long ways off, sometimes those black stumps in the, in the sunlight really pop and you really just want them to take a step, but they don't <laughs> because they're stumps. One slow morning and more stump bears than we could count later, our luck finally started to change. Okay, uh, Mac. Mac found a bear really far away, um, but we're both pretty excited. I'm, try I'm trying to pin down where exactly he is. He's that was a super, super crazy spot, Mac. 
So I think he's in the trees now. I can't see him from my my spot, but yeah, just a big old bear bumbling, stumbling through the woods. Um, our first bear of the trip. Good spot, Mac. That was. At least we know there's bears out here now. Was, not gonna lie, hopes were hopes were getting a little little low. Two thousand yards. Two thousand. Two thousand yards exactly. How far is that? That hill in front of us. <laughs> it's almost seven hundred. Okay, dude, awesome spot again, but super pumped that this spot didn't turn out to be a bust because this was like morale just down in the dumps. Right, that is yeah. a good bear. As we packed up and prepared to close the distance on this bear, I went back to take one more look and I found something that surprised us. Oh shoot, Micah, it's a mama with two cubs. Micah and I were just about to bomb across the, on the closest reasonable ridge. Uh, I had spotted a bear, and this is the second bear of the day, second bear so far, and we got pretty excited. And just as we were about to, uh, Michael was getting packed up, so I decided to come back and grab some footage. It's a mama. I saw two little black dots following her, and then actually there's three. It's a mama with three cubs, she had triplets. So it's super cool to see. I've never seen a bear with uh, triplets but it's also a bummer because that's the only type of bear you can't shoot <laughs> is a mama with their babies. So uh, we're gonna hang out. We're finally starting to see, you know, a couple bears. So we're gonna just chill, I think, and continue to glass. And hopefully we turn up uh, either a big boar or a solo mama with no cubs. So we'll see what happens. So currently the young buck is crushing the old stallion in uh, bears. We just spotted our third bear. This one's definitely solo. It's on a hill further than the one we've been seeing the mama and her babies. But we've only got like two hours of daylight and he's 2,000 yards away. So we're trying to game plan here if we are that fast to go down and up a canyon or... Well, and it's... We're talking ma major elevation loss and then major gain and we would maybe get a shot if we came up that spine, uh, the ridge that the mom and three cubs was on and try and shoot across. If he's going to the left, that would work great. Maybe we could, you know. Actually, yeah, up. he could, he could end up on this. So we're gonna see what happens here, but we're finally starting to see some bears. It's day one, we've seen three different bears and then three cubs, so. Well, and we, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just we're running out of water with, having to boil or having to melt snow, you know? Yeah. We've had to melt the water and trying to save our jet boil fuel. Literally the water tastes like campfire, like not in a good way, not like a good whiskey. It's like drinking smoke. Um, so that's not <laughs> yeah, been fun. I, I thought you were kidding. And then I literally took a swig. Of it's stuff. not refreshing. It's like yeah. the, the, the campfireiness of a whiskey glass without all the fun. So, <laughs> so, uh, Mac has once again spotted more bears. Uh, I have yet to spot a bear <laughs> before Mac on this trip, uh, but we we just saw two bears cruising. We kind of don't, don't know for sure, but the one is looks like a really good bear, um, and we got a we got a beat on them, but we're losing light, so we're not gonna we're not gonna attempt it tonight. We're just gonna go back to camp, get some food. Um, make a game plan for tomorrow. I think we're gonna bomb off this, trying to find a spot that we could, aren't post holing through the snow um, and then kind of relocate them and see which ridge they're on um, and hopefully get a chance to shoot a bear tomorrow. Well, it is probably about eight or nine o'clock. We've seen our first bear of day three. We spotted it again, which means from now on, I think Micah's gonna take me on all of his hunts. 
What just are you saying over there? Just to be his eyes. And uh, brings my tally to a crippling six to one. And he spotted a bear that's already been seen. So we're, we're counted. It's mercy ruling right now, though. So we're trying to get camp packed up. This bear's a lot lower than the ones we've been seeing. Uh, which basically means we might take a different approach than we were planning. Because we, if this bear stays where he's at for the next hour or so that it takes us to get down there, uh, we might be able to do a cross canyon shot on him. We just got to confirm he is on the hill that we've been seeing the mama bear on. But he's way at the bottom. She's only been at the top. We just got to confirm. Doesn't have any cubs. Um, and if not, we're not exactly being picky with our bears right now. So we'll take this bear. where we're about 800 yards up and above where we saw the bear this morning but we haven't seen him he did disappear in like the last 10 minutes before we left camp we didn't see where he went because we we're packing up so our plan is just to sit here um, for a little while longer maybe till noon see if he gets up for an afternoon snack or something like that the concern is we're going to go down to the river in the bottom to set up camp but we don't want to uh if that bear went down into those trees, we don't want to blow him out uh, just to set up camp. So hopefully he pops out in the next hour or so. But if he doesn't, we're going to go down there, set up camp, and then we're probably going to hike up what we've affectionately named Mama's Spine, where we've been seeing the mama with her cubs, and uh, try to get a look into the next basin where we've been seeing multiple big bears. Uh, and we'll sit there all night, hoping one of them shows up, or two. camp loaded up on our backs, we made slow progress down the mountain face. It was steep and littered with deadfall and thick brush. Our bear from that morning never resurfaced, so we continued on down the mountainside. As we neared the bottom, we were greeted by the sound of beautiful, fresh, running water. We're now at the bottom of our two ravines where we've been seeing bears, and it's a lot steeper than it looked. We have our work cut out for us. We don't even know where we're setting up camp yet. so. But at least we have water. Fresh, non-smoky water. Got some bear scratches going up this tree here. And we got another tree uh, behind us that's got, uh, looks like a rubbing tree where he rubs his back or just clawed. But there's definitely some bears. Well, we've seen that one bear down right over here, so. It's a good sign, it's getting closer. We set up camp in the bottom of the valley and hustled up Mama's spine to see if we'd catch any bears at last light. I could, we didn't film any of the ascent. This is probably the worst ascent I think either of us have ever had. <laughs> we'll get a shot to kind of show you what it looks like off this canyon, but basically we just busted on a incline that looked like this through deadfall for a mile and it was rough. And and earlier, we did that descending, dropping 1,800 feet. Yeah, we dropped 2,000 feet today yeah. before we set up our camp at the bottom. And then we climbed another 800 up to here through some pretty miserable stuff. Like, there was there was no good way about it. We were making a ton of noise, but we just were trying to bust it to get here because we knew we'd seen bears on this other hill. Uh, we came to where we'd been seeing bears cruising the last night, and we just got into our spot when all of a sudden I spotted this, it was lucky number seven. It was a cinnamon bear we both wanted. Max crushing me on the spot. No, we both wanted cinnamon bears. I was like, Micah, Micah, bear, bear, bear. Does he have any cubs? I don't see anything in tow. It appears to be solo. Okay, let me get my camera out.
He's moved since he last saw him, so I'm gonna... Okay. I'm not on him. He's in a tree for me. He's all okay. Oh, Micah! What? I wasn't ready for that. What? I thought you were rolling. I was, I got it, but I was gonna get you on this. Dude. You rolled him. <laughs> you gotta keep me heads up. <laughs> I did, I got it on here. He was getting away. He was, you had, look at how much green you had. <laughs> That's not... I ain't taking a chance. <laughs> I thought you were rolling him, I thought I was good to shoot. My bad, my bad. All right, hey, we, <laughs> we just got a bear. I was a little fast uh, shot before Mac was ready, but, uh, but there was a bear and I, and I had a perfect window. So uh, as hard as this hunt has been, um, we, we, we got a bear. With only two days left in our hunt, we decided to hunt our way back to the airstrip. We knew the pack out off trail was gonna be rough. Micah's bear ended up being so rubbed out that combined with the damage done by the 300 Weatherby meant unfortunately we couldn't salvage the hide. So we grabbed the skull and the meat and we made our way back. Giving me a ride across the river here really saved our butts. We got a whole crew um, of guys that uh, stopped and helped us out. So the trail's on the other side of the river and it's really gonna save us uh, <laughs> a hell of a lot of energy and time. So just getting a clip of Mac going down the river. This is our setup. We just got across. I'm a big strong lad. It's not light. Hey, thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah, really you guys. No worries. <laughs> there you got it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, we got some trail miles ahead of us now. 